Welcome again to another episode. So, I'm making this video because I hear a lot of people complaining about how hard the new event is. Despite being really easy for someone like me. Yeah, I know I have all the units, but still, if you follow these simple steps, you will be able to do this with ease as well. So, without any further ado, let's dig in. Starting with how these shield points are calculated or earned. Well, to put it simply, a victory is equal to 100 points, and the HP or the health points of the commander, this 100% health points are equal to another 100 points. So, in short, if you win with the commander at full HP, you will get 200 points. So yeah, you want to protect this commander and not allow the enemy to even touch him. And with every 10% the commander loses from his HP, you will lose 10 shield points. Now let's see how we can protect this guy. So in wave 1 and 2, you should be focusing on dealing damage without losing units as much as possible. Hence, every single soldier that dies reduces the leadership of this unit you are controlling when you decide to make it retreat. Step 2. After every single wave, try to quickly, and I'm saying quickly because you have like 20-30 seconds only, try to retreat your unit to get their leadership back and then switch them with a higher or better unit. Step 3. Coordinate with your teammates, you will always need a tanky shield in the middle. It will make your life a lot easier, sulking up too much damage. And by the way, for the shield controller, do not move your shields no matter what. Literally, just let it rain Scorpio and bombards on them. Do not move them. If you move them, you will just break the line and everything will be screwed. So I hope you had a very tanky shield with the healing ability like the Imperials for example. Step number 4. Here are some different builds other than the usual build I use for myself. So we have a tank plus a fighter plus a ranged unit. Or you can go with two tanks and one ranged unit which I personally prefer. For the tanks your choice are kinda strict. You can do with any shields starting from wave 1 then progress till you reach your imperial or even stalwarts if you have them with the fighters i recommend a fighter unit that can life steal or heal like the crescent monks berserkers and unamusha for the range i would say go with the imperial archers or the imperial muskets at wave 3 for example Till you reach the Tercios or the Huntsmen at wave 4 and 5. Personally, my usual build here is I start wave 1 with crossbows. As the ranged person in the team. Then progress them into Janissaries at wave 2. Then Imperial Muskets or Archers at wave 3. Then I pick the Tercios so I do not waste the Huntsmen dogs at wave 4. Then when wave 5 arrives, I finally get my Huntsmen out. If you don't have Huntsmen or not planning to even get them, it's fine. Tercius will do just fine. But you need something else to deal with the shields. And of course, your lovely teammates should go and play shields for the sake of the easy win. Or you yourself. Why would I highly recommend the Huntsman or the Houndsman as the best ranged unit in this event? Let me explain further. Their dogs are the key. They can lifesteal and confuse the AI, making them go in circles around themselves, giving their backs to my archers for 100% crit arrows every single time. Plus, these dogs will earn you a very valuable few seconds with each dog attack. As you can see here with wave 5, I'm using the Huntsman and I'm having an easy life with this event. And that was it. 
Before I leave, just remember that this event has a limit. Approximately 500 to 1000 points, I think, per week. So when you stop getting points, it, it's fine. Or when your points dramatically drops from 200 to 40 or something, just know that you did reach your limit. And that was it. Hope you did learn something from this video and see you soon in the battlefield world of words.